Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter the Master of Poppets. Today, joined by Henry the John of Goose. Looking at one of the beers that I got from Buxton. Buxton was kind enough to send me a beer mail because they recently released the uh, Yellow Belly anniversary beer in the last batch of Yellow Belly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They called it with Omnicoil. And uh, they were kind enough to supply a can along with some other stuff, which is awesome. And this is one of them. This is a beer I've actually wanted to try from them for a while. It's a collab with Lervig. Um, and this is the Buxton and Lervig Tolltunga, a gooseberry sour IPA. So they do a sour IPA on 6.3% that's made with gooseberries. And it's inspired by the rock in Norway called Tolltunga. Uh, if you don't know it, it's quite famous if you just Google Tolltunga or Troll's Tongue Rug, I guess. You see pictures of this. Huge scenic area with mountains and then a river going on like in between them and then there's this rock that's sticking out that looks kind of like a tongue like and come on pointing their tongue and they say in Norway it's a troll's tongue because trolls in myth would turn into mountains or stone or rock when they were in sunlight. So yes, so uh, it's, that's kind of cool. So they did, did this as a collaboration beer and they did it a long time ago but they've been Doing it ever since once in a while, so it will be the first time to try it. I can't remember the last time I had an IPA that was sour. Sour IPA. It's it's been some time for me as well. Yeah, it was kind of one of those all the rage things a while back. Now, yeah, like brute IPA is trying to be all the rage. I think the only IPA thing that was all the rage and still is is New England IPA. Mm. But it pours a crystal clear, almost slightly hazy golden yellow color. I mean, it's almost like Pilsner. Yeah. Ah, maybe yeah. Yeah. I really like this guy. I've said it before. It's like you feel like an alchemist when you're swirling it. Like, oh, I've got my potion. Um, but yeah, nice white head on there. Let's check out the aroma. Uh -huh. it definitely gooseberry. It's almost champagne y. Yeah. Sour. And white grape. It also has like some citric and lemony notes. And this was bottled on the yeah. 2nd of November. So it's That's about. Nice. It's a little more than a month old now. I mean, Two months almost. It does have a bit of tartness as well. Yeah. Mm. And some sweet malt yeah. underneath. It's yeah, it's kind of like champagne. -y mm. Yeah, mm, let's try it. Yeah. Cheers and thanks to Buxton for the beer. Wow. Oh, this Ooh, more sour than I expected. Yeah. Wow, that's much more sour. Mm. Lots of sour gooseberry. Oh yeah. It reminds me kind of like of Danish summer. We like gooseberries. We stick this, but we have them here as well. Ooh. It's much more sour than I expected, but it's actually. I don't feel I feel I don't feel like it's super hoppy. It almost tastes like a golden sour with gooseberry. Yeah, it's not it's not that hoppy. It's got, it got it's still got a bit of um, hop dryness, dryness. Dry, yeah, dry. yeah. It's got Hoppiness. some dryness for sure. Yeah. It's it's got a little bit of a citric lemon mm -hmm. quality as well. A bit of maybe not lemon, lemon, lemon. grape maybe. Yeah. Mm. White grape. White grape, grape skin yeah. or something. Grape skin, yeah. Mm. Like the dryness of grape skin. Yeah. Or something. Like yes. That. Yeah. Slight hint of sweet malt, but not a lot. It's pretty much mostly forward on the. Mm. I dig this. Yeah, it's very refreshing. Uh, and super easy drinkable, too. Mm -hmm. mm. But I think paired with an even more intensive hopping, it could be. Yeah. With like Nelson yeah. or like a little yeah. bit of Citra or something. They're missing a bit of like hop character. But hop -character. it's also, it's yeah, it's from the 2nd of November. Mm. Uh, but again, it's a sour IPA, so I guess mm. they. I mean, yeah, you still want to drink it fresh, and it's still also fairly fresh, so. But I think it's pretty nice. I'm thinking like an 88. Mm, yeah. In an 88, 90s range. Yeah, 88. 88, 90. I'm 90. Yeah, well, this is a very refreshing sour IV. And super drinkable. So, if you guys had a chance to try the Buxton and Lervik Tartume Gooseberry Sour IPA, well, let us know what you thought of it. Really nice artwork, too. Yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty, yeah. pretty good. Pretty if you guys good. have a chance to try it, let us know. As always, leave a comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And we're going to say cheers. And see you guys in another video.